Hello everyone, good evening and uh, welcome to our Safer Internet Day panel discussion where we are going to discuss what we can do to make the internet a safer place for children everywhere. Uh, why are we celebrating Safer Internet Day? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, we celebrate uh, Safer Internet Day every year. Uh, it started, I think, in 2011. Uh, today, 8th of February 2022 is this year's uh, date and it's basically... Uh, it is to get all the stakeholders involved across uh, ages, across genders, across industries to join together to make the internet a safer and better place for all, especially for children and our senior citizens, right? So uh, the theme for this year's Safer Internet Day is called uh, Together for a Better Internet. And I think that's a great uh, theme to go by. Uh, again, with this uh, overall shift towards working from home and with the pandemic and our reliance on the internet increasing every day, it is only crucial that all of us come together to make sure the internet is a safe space, a safe space uh, for us to operate in. Uh, today, I'm joined by two uh, very eminent personalities. Uh, first, we have uh, Mr. Uh, senior Advocate Pankaj B. Bafna. Uh, he is a cyber law advocate. He specializes in cyber law. Uh, he uh, is also a law graduate from the Government Law College uh, with more than 24 years of experience uh, practicing today in uh, with his own law firm that he runs with his, uh, his two sons. It's called Bafna Law Associates, and they specialize in cyber law. Uh, Mr. Bafna is on the panel of Union Bank of India for handling cybercrime cases. Uh, he's also a faculty trainer and on the advisory board for the Maharashtra Police on cybercrime investigations and trials. He has also been a part of the drafting committee appointed by the Ministry of Home Affairs for drafting and amending the Information Technology Act uh, in 2019, uh, and is also a visiting faculty at Mumbai University uh, for the post-graduation diploma in cyber laws. Uh, he's authored many, many articles on various aspects of cyber law has been a panelist and speaker at national seminars and at events at more than 750 schools and institutions regarding the topic. So if there's anyone who knows cyber law, it is uh, advocate uh, Pankaj B. Bafna. Uh, let's please all welcome Mr. Bafna to our uh, discussion today. Mr. Bafna, sir, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Ajahn. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. 24 years of uh, experience, which means you've been practicing cyber law pretty much uh, since the internet has come to India. Uh, since, yeah, it was enacted in the year 2000. Since then, I'm yeah. into this particular specialized field. That is crazy. That is very, very, very cool. So, like, you are definitely among the senior most and most uh, foremost authorities on the subject, I would say. I cannot say that. <laughs> With the, I mean, I can say it, so I'll say it. <laughs> For you, I will say it, sir. <laughs> uh, in addition to you, sir, we have one more guest on our panel today. Uh, he is a homebody in Amitra Katha. Uh, Dipesh Kothari uh, is a self-described cybernaut. He spends a lot of time browsing the web safely. He is put in brackets. Uh, he grasping infinite information about all things sports and digital and reveling in entertainment and fun. He loves to dance. He's a very good dancer, uh, play field sports, and is a huge Liverpool football club fan. Over and above this, Dipesh Kothari is also the man who is responsible for uh, bringing Amit Chitrakata and Tinkle into uh, the digital age by revamping our apps and going uh, doing the full digital pivot when the pandemic broke out. So he is also someone who really knows digital, who plays with apps and uh, websites and the entire online ecosystem very, very well. So let's give it up for uh, Dipesh. Hello, Dipesh. How are you? I'm, I'm Dipesh, doing very well. Thanks, Ajitan. Thanks for having me here. It would be very, very happy to have you here with us today. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. We have. Uh, it's going to be a very freewheeling discussion that we'll sort of like look at, and uh, we'll see how it plays out and like whatever you guys have to say on these topics will be most appreciated by our uh, viewers, right? So first off, the entire point for us to sort of discuss uh, this today is how do we make the internet a safe space for kids given the amount of time kids are now spending online 
uh, be it online school, be it coaching classes, be it virtual birthday parties, just generally browsing. They spend an inordinate, uh, inordinate amount of time online today and a lot of it is unavoidable as well. So why is internet safety so important for kids today? Okay, sir, what do you have to say about this? Yeah, actually, Arjun, because nowadays uh, we are in the world of uh, digital technology. Uh, I will just like to say that during our age, when we were children, uh, we went to physical activities. We had uh, no other option rather than going to the playgrounds and playing and all these people interact with, uh, with the same age group of people over there. But nowadays, as internet uh, is in the hands of the uh, children as well as the senior citizens as well as the grown-ups also, it's a new technology where we are taken across the borders. We are being able to meet people. So this is an ad advantage as well as a disadvantage. Uh, specifically children, because it's a very new thing for them. How we give them toys. Immediately they start playing with the toys because it's the first time what they've seen in their life. The same way when they get uh, the control of a particular gadget where you they see everything, uh, music, videos, uh, pictures, so they get attracted towards it and they become so user friendly with them that they are addicted towards that. So it's a very crucial thing that we should have some importance uh, plus safety also to be there because internet is such a thing. You don't internet is not divided as per the age group. For example, if you are going to a search engine and we are typing a particular subject, we may get all sort of results, which is uh, maybe useful for the children uh, or other people also. So now, suppose if uh, a child, now just uh, four days back, you might have read in the newspapers, uh, a five-year-old child in Navi Mumbai had taken away the mobile of her mother and she was online shopping at Big Basket. And suddenly that child ordered uh, 12,000 worth products, a four-year-old child. Now you just imagine the child doesn't know what, what, uh, that, what button has to be pressed, but he was just playing like a piano and the 12,000 products were ordered. And then the mother came into picture, she wrote down to the, the company and the company had to refund back the money. But this is we may expect in future by the children. So it's very necessary where we should have our, some safety related to this particular gadget. That's a very good point. I mean, I recently read about how like a child, I think I'm south in Kerala, uh, placed a morning order for uh, chai and something from Zomato. And uh, early in the morning, like delivery boys come with the food also. And everyone's like, what have you ordered? And she's ordered like chai and one full boiled egg and one half boiled egg and an omelette. And uh, she's all of like three years old, I think. And then they, they took a photo of her holding her food early in the morning. And the photo obviously went viral. But I mean, these are, see, these are amusing anecdotes. But like the ones where, you know, suddenly you're spending lakhs and lakhs of rupees and you have no idea why and who's ordered it. It becomes a big problem. Dipesh, have you ever like come across such uh, instances at your end? Surprisingly, uh, I, I can I can definitely vouch for uh, what Bapna sir just said and also one of the examples that you just gave. In fact, four five days back, my nephew, um, I mean, he's he's way more digitally savvy than all of us are. In fact, some of the times they are his his parents end up coming to me or probably somebody more digitally savvy just to understand the kind of things that he can probably end up browsing. So what he uh, ended up doing was that, I mean, he plays he plays a lot of games which are streamed online and he's just about, what, 11 years old. Um, uh, we always ensured that uh, he plays from an account where no, I mean, none of his apps are actually connected to the Play Store or the iOS Store where the credit card information is safe. Unfortunately, it so happened that he logged in from a different device which belonged to uh, his mother. And uh, I mean, he was, he was, uh, I mean, it, it's all about uh, the peer pressure that a lot of his friends were at say level 100 on that particular app and he was only at about 50. So it so happened that then the other day uh, we saw him bragging about him being on level, level 250. And uh, I mean, since he speaks so much about that streaming app, which is, which is his gaming app, we just happened to ask him that how did this happen suddenly? And uh, before he could even answer, I could hear my sister screaming very loudly and saying that who on earth ended up spending about 1,30,000 rupees on the credit card. Oh my Just, God. Uh, so <laughs> he ended up buying so many coins in app purchases that he ended up doing that, um, uh, I mean, he was very happy about it. He, he's his <laughs> ended up appreciating him that he is at level 250. He got featured also 
uh, in that app stop uh, you know 15 players uh, but i mean it was unfortunate that this happened fortunately we were able to take in the right measures we got we wrote back to the uh, application developers uh, it went into litigation but fortunately about 72 hours the amount was also reversed but things like these keep on happening almost every day like as we are speaking there are so many uh, cases that might be happening outside all of this because of in app purchases and parents not being careful enough when it comes to their credit cards being attached to the phones that are being just handed over to the kids and i'm sure you would have also realized that you might not have taught your daughter about you know uh, uh, streaming on the phone i mean not streaming on the phone probably browsing through uh, various videos on youtube but so, that's exactly i just come to say that so i have a 2 year old daughter and she turned 2 uh, two months ago but she already knows exactly how to switch on which like on switch on youtube switch on spotify download the videos that she wants to watch and like you know she knows how to go into whatsapp and into the media folder to look at like photos that she's taken of herself and she's all of two and it's like it's fascinating at one end how quickly they're able to adapt but it's exactly like you said bafna sir it's that it's like when they get a new toy like you know they're still exploring the boundaries of it and they have no idea how far it can go and how much it might harm them so uh, that's yeah i mean it is very very scary <laughs> uh that's one side of it the other thing that i'm also concerned especially with my daughter spending so much time like you know on uh, a device or any kid spending so much time is who is sitting at the other end when they are talking to people or you know if they are like initiating transactions or so how do you what do you have to say about like how do you deal with that and how can we sort of safeguard our kids from that or take steps to make sure they protect it okay so uh, basically because now first thing i always when i go to institutions or i do some talk shows regarding children and all i first thing is to guide the parents or the senior citizens uh, under whose custody the child is okay uh, if you are going to give the gadget to your children for a longer time please see that the safety measures have been included in that you see what you are using Uh, disable those things till that very moment till the time the gadget is in the hands of the child so that that person mistakenly unknowingly doesn't enter into that arena because i got a couple of cases where child children have accessed a particular portfolio and the, then the law enforcement agencies have come forward tracking the imei code and the ip address and taken the parents into custody and taken away because that time we cannot say that my child was operating the uh, the uh, mobile or the laptop or anything because mm-hmm. electronic evidence कि भाई इस पर्टिकुलर ईमेल से या इस पर्टिकुलर लैपटॉप से ये कमेंट्स भेजा गया था या फिर ये लिंक ओपन की गई थी सो दिस इज द पेरेंट्स और द सीनियर्स हैव टू टेक केयर प्रिकॉशंस जब आप बच्चे को व्हेन यू गोइंग टू गिव द गैजेट्स इंस्टॉल चाइल्ड सेफ्टी मेजर्स एप्स व्हिच आर ऑलरेडी देयर बट डोंट गो फॉर द प्री द फ्री वंस नथिंग इज अवेलेबल फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट द सिक्योरिटी इज आल्सो नॉट अवेलेबल फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट सो गो फॉर द नॉमिनल पेड वन so that if a child goes into a wrong particular area on the internet immediately it will be alerted ke bhai this particular uh, this moment uh, the person who is using that particular gadget is going to a restricted area so you can take away the control of that particular gadget this is what i suggest normally for children below the age group of 8 and 9 that's that's very good advice so what my what my wife does is so she has uh, apps that are already pre installed which uh, sort of block out like you said like you know restrict access to certain apps and there are timers also so they can only use it for so long you know so these sort of things i think has helped in sort of like curbing whatever she's doing but it's always good to like know like more and more ways to like sort of regulate this uh... pankaj sir in your opinion how young uh, or how old should a child be before they are given a uh, device of their own like a mobile because or... i'll tell you uh, as per law uh in if you using a social media uh, a profile an account there is a restricted age if you yeah. if you go for any particular social media 13 13 plus yeah yeah below that the child is not allowed to you open an account but what yeah. we do i have seen i am come across the parents or the elder brothers or the sister they open they put a fake date of birth and then they open up the account of that particular child and they upload the pictures this is where yeah. we are teaching the wrong things don't do that that the child is not used to get exposed to the outside, outside world let them first groom up with your homely environment ghar ko samajhne do pehle unko and then yeah. put them outside but what we are doing nowadays just to boost up or to show 
जो चाइल्ड की डिमांड है चाइल्ड विल ऑलवेज डिमांड फाइव हंड्रेड ईयर्स अगो ऑल्सो चाइल्ड यूज टू डिमांड नाउ ऑल्सो चाइल्ड इज गोइंग टू डिमांड नाउ इट इज ऑन अस वॉट टू फुलफिल और नॉट सो इट इज मतलब रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल द सीनियर्स के डोंट देर इज अ रिस्ट्रिक्टेड एज डोंट अलाउ अब बिलो दैट पर्टिकुलर एज गैजेट्स भी बिकॉज नाउ इन दिस टू ईयर्स पैंडेमिक बिकॉज द स्कूलिंग वॉज ऑल्सो ऑनलाइन पेरेंट्स का एक्सक्यूज नहीं अभी ऑनलाइन हो गया वी हैव टू परचेज अ लैपटॉप फॉर माई स्पेस चाइल्ड well okay that was a for a limited period it is not that for 24 hours you have to give that laptop to your child no yeah. gaming game give them physical toys make them habitual towards them give them some other activities so they will not go towards that particular internet thing or anything and if you are giving them a laptop also don't give them internet connection give them a stand alone pc or a stand alone mobile automatically they will get bored and throw it away and give it to you back <laughs> you know now they give your mobile to anyone without an internet connection even if i give an iphone 15 minute yeah. office yeah. we have we tried giving my uh, like i gave my daughter like an old one of those push phones which don't yeah. doesn't have anything all you can do is like dial on it right and she looked at it for 5 minutes and gave back saying i don't want to play with this this is like what is yeah. this there's nothing on this thing <laughs> so we will not play the grudging also of the child okay usne khud ne de diya uska mood change ho gaya wo chale gaye kahin aur गार्डियंस uh, is uh whenever we are handing over a phone even if it's for any purpose be it schooling be it uh, uh be it for them to play games uh while first of all I'm not a supporter of a lot of online games even if I love being digital at least till the age of 20 but uske pehle jitna physical activities you want to do you should do and that is that has to be the motto that has to be imbibed in in the kids now that the pandemic is slowly and steadily you know coming to a level where we can actually let our kids go out as much as we used to allow them to do a couple of years back but uh two factor factor authentication is what i wanted to talk about so whenever any kind of payments or any kind of payment mechanisms are connected to your apps ensure that there is two factor authentication that is always on your app so that even if by mistake the kids are ending up spending on that particular app just because you have given it a prior permission you at least get a notification or an otp to finish that particular transaction that is how the kids will not be able to access uh, things that they are not supposed to or they will not be able to buy that uh, those particular things this is this is with regards to the topic where you were you know speaking of kids buying online and randomly you know especially young younger ages like i mean till like 4 5 and all yeah because they're curious the older they are they are already on the phone then they'll know how to do these things correct because they are they are, they are curious you can't really blame them yeah. all the time uh, like we i mean i could never think of myself at the age of 2 thinking about even scrolling on to i mean on a digital digital device i i used to hold a slate and uh, you know a, a chalk in my hand just to ensure i can probably probably write an a in you know leave alone just swiping right and left and figuring out what app to go to and what to download so those are those are those are certain things at least in terms of being vigilant is what we have to do and then speaking of uh you know the fact that it's important for us to ensure that i mean i was reading this the other day and i was reading i mean i'm watching certain videos of homeland security actually and they had given this this st- statistic that about 7 or 38 minutes is what kids between the age group of 8 to 16 are actually spending online either playing games or you know uh, uh doing their schooling or homework or whatever that needs i mean if that kind of that amount of time is being spent online it becomes even more important for parents to understand the kind of things that are happening online first of all for them to be able to preach the right things to their kid because right now what i feel that parents themselves are not fully aware of the things that can happen i mean basic things like should not be opening certain emails which say that something is for free something is harmful for you it could be a malware it could be anything else but kids are curious they'll open it so those are the kind of things that 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 happen i mean that should be taught first uh things that are not supposed to be done while on the internet for sure and there has to be a guideline recently i saw a twitter post where um 
uh, where a parent had actually uh, incentivized his kid by creating a particular uh, internet chart for him for him to be able to say for him to be able to be safe on the internet to ensure that he gets some rewards in the form of candies or toys or whatever if he does not do certain things on the internet and that all has to be monitored and those are some very interesting things and very creative things that you can do with your kids that's one one point i i, I do want to like highlight here is how bafna sir spoke about like you know like you need to lead by example correct right? i mean we as parents and uh, elder brothers and you know grandparents and so on we are also enabling them in a certain way by making accounts for them uh, at a certain age or stuff like that so our own behavior has to be very crucial so we lead by example right so like this entire trolling business or like you're like commenting on things or what you're looking at we need to be very aware that there are people watching us and try to do what we're going to be doing <laughs> so uh, coming i mean yeah sorry sorry achan short form videos have become very popular in the last two years yeah. and i'm sure you would have seen the internet being flooded with videos uh, uh you know which are made by about 8 year old 6 i mean 6 year old to 8 yeah. year old to about 10 year old where they are trying to imitate what obviously their mothers uh, i mean what their mother and their father would have done on on the internet while just you know trying to follow a trend but the but the problem here is that um like you correctly mentioned that they they are not being properly educated about using the internet safely while yeah. all of these things are getting a lot of likes from us because we like getting entertained we as users as, as well we need to understand which videos to probably follow and which videos not to follow because there is a decent amount of uh, age group which is well aware of the fact what does not need to be done on the internet but if yeah. we as educated individuals who know that internet can be really harmful for the kids now that the you know blockchain technology is taking over you you can clearly see the kind of possibilities that can come in when it comes to kids getting curious about all of these things as well which is obviously a very 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 dangerous place when it comes to cyber bullying as well so all yeah. of these things have to be checked no the, the psychological impact of like these things are like very very high and uh, obviously like you know parents and uh, other guardian figures have that like role to play in sort of educating kids Correct. my question yeah. though is the flip like you know what can given that like we are tinkle most of our viewers are also children uh, and we do do this on youtube where children are still allowed on facebook uh, so <laughs> my question is what can kids do to help their family stay vigilant and they you know what are like things that they can like sort of maybe teach their parents or teach their elders because we also do very strongly believe that it is a two way street you know i learn as much from my daughter as she does from me so pankaj sir what do you have to say about that like i mean are there any tips that you would have for kids yes because i'll tell you in uh, mumbai uh, uh, i have come across a couple of groups where it's a uh, learning as well as earning which the children have started from the age group okay. of 12 to 18 what they have formed a group and uh, suppose now i have i must say i am a person i don't know how to operate the latest smartphone but i have a smartphone so i will hire a particular uh, student to be okay come and teach me how to operate facebook account kaise kholte hai ye application google play kya hota hai uska then they start charging 500 rupees 600 rupees for 50 30 minutes to teach them so this is how wow. a schooling has started up the children are going and teaching the seniors कि कैसे ये सीखना है क्या खोलना है विद नाउ इन सम स्कूल्स आई हैव गिवन देम द सजेशन स्टार्टअप्स कि भई यू कैन मेक द चाइल्ड थिंक पॉजिटिवली इफ वी टेल देम तो ओके यू कैन अर्न आल्सो बिकॉज़ नाउ डेज द यंगर द एज द मोर दे वांट इन इनकम एज़ वेल एज़ एवरीथिंग व्हाटएवर दे डिजायर दे वांट इट इमीडिएटली दे डोंट वांट टू वेट फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर पीरियड तो नाउ इन द स्कूल्स एंड द स्कूल्स हैव स्टार्टेड अडॉप्टेड आल्सो के दे हैव केप्ट इट ऑन अ पेरेंट्स डे के भाई तीन महीने में एक बार पेरेंट्स डे रखते हैं अ स्मॉल ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर बीइंग मेड द वॉलंटियर्स जहां पे पेरेंट्स को बुलाया जाता है जिनको मोबाइल यूज करना नहीं आता है या लैपटॉप यूज करना आता है दो चिल्ड्रन आर टीचिंग देम एंड दे आर चार्जिंग अ नॉमिनल फी व्हिच विल बी पेड टू द चाइल्ड्स अकाउंट डायरेक्टली क्रेडिटेड इनटू द चाइल्ड्स अकाउंट सो दैट पॉजिटिवली कम्स टू द चाइल्ड्स माइंड अरे यार ये तो मैं जो सीखा हूं वो मैं अच्छे चीज के लिए सीख रहा हूं एंड देन दे प्लीज डू द लोन्स आल्सो टू द पेरेंट्स कि देखिए आंटी जी ये फेसबुक है इसमें ना अपना पर्सनल फोटोग्राफ अपलोड मत करना या 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 दैट्स लवली रियली नाइस 
कोई भी उसको देखेगा फोटोग्राफ डाउनलोड करेगा बिकॉज दैट इज अगरनेस टू मेक अभी जैसे मुझे अगर कोई पैसा भी मिल रहा है देन माई इगरनेस विल कम दैट आई एम अ टीचर Yeah, I mean you're incentivizing, right? You're incentivizing them in the right way and to yeah. do good, right? And that's a beautiful thing. I mean, like you know, they've been taught what to do and what not to do, and then they're spreading that message. That's really yeah. lovely. So the some schools have started adopting in Mumbai, and they are so happy. Then the suddenly, directly, the pandemic came down. So I've started the webinars also. I've taken with them. I mean, the webinars me there is a restriction. Let the physical activity start up, and then have a one to one. and those 10 children will make 100 children more come into this particular group because nowadays yeah. everyone want yeah. money they don't want to beg in front of their father ke mujhe paisa yeah. diye mujhe school jana hai yeah it so is i mean we live in the era of shark tank india right yes yeah, everybody is so right here like then they starts very very young also uh dipesh have you heard of like any innovative uh, 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 is what do you say initiatives by children to teach or the things that they can do to sort of like spread the message was, of I, safety i was about to uh, you know i mean like bapna sir correctly said that there are facebook groups where in fact not just facebook groups there are a lot of uh, groups on reddit there are a lot of groups on um, uh, you know place like uh, kora as well where kids have come very uh, i mean groups of kids have come together and they have started doing this so that uh, they i mean within a particular vicinity they actually visit a particular senior citizen they ensure that they are well taught about and it comes to um how to utilize or how to use uh, they say their mobile phones or their laptops or how to attach their credit cards to play store what not to do what to do all of these things are um, are being done at the moment like i mentioned before we took this topic that parents themselves are incentivizing kids by making systematic incentive plans for kids like we have in our corporates by ensuring that they end up teaching the right things to their um, their to, to to their you know fellow peers and also to the senior citizens out there because it's very very easy for a senior citizen to probably see a pop up online which says that hey you know what your phone has x number of viruses please click on this particular pop up to ensure that you know all of these could be taken out of your phone but what that leads to is them entering their um, credit card details or probably them ge- getting duped which is which is why they end up becoming victims of uh, various cyber predators that are there outside so those are certain things that kids are currently doing so there there is clearly a group of kids who's trying to teach the right things and kids who are, who are trying to follow the trends as well so it's so it's a matter of you know people like us who are consistently you know doing do, doing sessions like these or 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 small webinars like these where we can educate children or ask them to come and join us as many times as possible for us to be able to teach them the right ways to use the internet and also ensure that they are well incentivized for doing something like this nice uh we have somebody in the comments uh, riya mehta who has asked for a software recommendation uh for parents for uh, you know that will help keep children safe online uh bafna sir you've mentioned some could you uh, tell us what yeah. what are some good stuff you did say that you have to pay for good stuff nothing in life is free obviously yeah because yeah. i have just mentioned uh, uh, two of them which is kaspersky child protection as well as norton child and many others google is also having it uh, facebook themselves are having uh, some softwares which is openly available at uh, on amazon so these are the uh, google has, google has a thing called google family link which is a monitoring and internet safety program right yeah yeah but that's for families and all those things uh, okay. but this child protections uh, it's anti virus sort of things where okay. automatically filtrations will take place in that particular uh-huh. gadget once it is installed so suppose we want that uh, the filtration words are there for example anything vulgar or anything or games also so automatically yeah. that that anti virus will block that it will not give access only to those particular web browsers or websites so these are the, the some software then it is very cheap it's not that expensive it's a yearly yeah. package yeah. we should we should go for it don't go go for free versions go free version themselves are containing vi- malware so aap khareedne to install jaise ki aapka khud ka system compromise ho jayega <laughs> like free versions that shall come with the, the trial virus also this is a trial virus now you yeah. might have heard about this virus it's great marketing <laughs> no, no, no. uh okay this has been this has been very very interesting uh i have one last uh, a couple of questions for dipesh and that's specifically to uh, about the own acka and tinkle uh, apps that we have 
what is it that we're doing now to make sure that the ACK and Tinker Labs offer a safe reading space for uh, our uh, readers, for our young audience that we have out there? So, uh, Achachan, good that you asked. So, see, honestly, on our apps as well, we have videos that are embedded, and obviously, we have learned uh, as we as we went with regards to the fact that though parents have put in enough amount of controls on their phones in case if there is there is any other app that ends up integrating say a third party tool they could still be leaks and hacks so we have to i mean in order to ensure that uh, our app is foolproof when it comes to them not being able to see any kind of advertisements we have ensured that uh, we have built in certain apis which ensure that no ads whatsoever ever pop up on onto the app the apps are uh, you know are, are given a kid safe uh, tag by uh, Google Play Store and App Store. What we have also done is, uh, uh, I mean, say like there are apps like Net Nanny or say Mama Bear, which ensure that you can have parental controls on on the app. We have used their APIs and ensure that uh, in the upcoming releases and sprints, you can actually put in the amount of time that your kids should spend on our on our apps, or probably the kind of content apart from our apps as well that should they sh that that they should not want. I mean, they, that they would not want their kids to actually see on the app. Uh, on various apps or on their browsers as well so those are certain things that we have ensured that are built into the app uh, we have also ensured that um, whatever whatever whenever somebody creates an account on the app whenever somebody is trying to make a purchase there is clearly a child protection lock that comes in on comes on ios for sure and we are developing something similar on android as well so that any kind of payments that you do onto the app have to go through the parents and no kids whatsoever can do any kind of in-app purchases within our app. So these are certain things that we have tried, uh, you know, uh, we have tried from our end to ensure that our apps are safe and uh, they allow you to ensure that the reading is absolutely safe as well. Our apps are also uh, download safe for that matter. So whatever you do, you have to do it via an encrypted server. So there is no um, unnecessary activity that can happen onto the app while kids are reading or also on the web app as well so those are certain things that we have ensured that we have taken care of that's uh Pankaj, do you think we're doing enough yeah and it's a good thing <laughs> <laughs> that's good to go that's good to know uh we have uh i think that's we are running out of time a little bit we did have a fun internet day quiz that i wanted to do with you guys i don't think we'll do the entire thing uh, but we can do a few uh, sample questions, maybe, and it'll be fun for everyone involved. So this is our website, uh, Tinkle.in, and there's a Safer Internet Day quiz there, and it's anchored by uh, Rahul and Ravi. Uh, so we'll just start this quiz. So we're going to do this as a buzzer thing. So if you guys know the answer, just shout it out. Right. <laughs> The internet was invented in 1969. What was the name of the network from which it originated? ARPANET, World Wide Web, Phishing Net, First Net. ARPANET. ARPANET. That's 1.2. Fuck it, sir. Well done. The ARPANET was created by the Advanced Research Progress Projects Agency in the United States. That's why it's called ARPANET. It is the short form ARPA. Uh, that is the Advanced Research Projects Agency. All right. Well done, Fuck it, sir. You've got one point. Dibesh, Kintharta? I'm at zero. All right. <laughs> Next question. The DD's purpose is to solve mysteries. What was the purpose of the ARPANET? Defense and research, social networking, streaming kitten videos, or forum for budding sleuths like us? The third one. It's streaming. Streaming, streaming kitten video. videos. Yeah. Dibesh, <laughs> uh, are you also going to go with streaming kitten videos? If if Pankaj sir has said streaming kitten videos, I can't. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is a live example of trolling. Pankaj sir <laughs> is trolling both you and me at this point. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? Let's check if you are right or wrong. No. Oh, no. <laughs> it was invented to help carry out defense-based research safely. The ARPA is a part of the US Defense Department. So while the, now the purpose has become streaming kitten videos. <laughs> Originally, it was meant for defense and research. All right, let's do one more question. Uh, the DD are forever at war with Sam. Sam is Ravi's sister. He's one of the defective detectives. 
what was the name of the war going on between the us and the ussr at the time the arpanet was invented world war 1 international war cold war hot war it was a cold war it was a cold war well done yes it was the cold war and interestingly while uh, we did mention a defense and research part earlier why this was developed was because the structure of the arpanet as a network without a physical center is what was its usp so that basically any attack or any base could not attack the network itself so the network would not be destroyed because it did not have a physical yeah. center so that's uh, <laughs> well not bunker sir got two questions right the page got one question right i'll give him one he did mention uh, cold war <laughs> so just <laughs> for this you don't want him ending on zero na <laughs> but uh, yeah so for everyone watching out there you guys can play the entire quiz on the tinkle.in website it's a really fun quiz it'll teach you a little bit about online safety it'll teach you a little bit about the internet itself uh, especially for kids today it is uh, the internet has always just been around like you know but there used to be a time and i think the three of us have seen that time when there was no internet in the world yeah. so uh, so yes please do visit www.tinkle.in uh head to the learning section and there you can play this quiz uh, there are about 15 questions play the quiz see how much you score and then share this quiz with your friends yeah uh thank you so much pankaj sir and dipesh for joining us today uh we thank have uh, pratik dhruva who heads our uh, licensing department uh and all new learning initiatives uh, he has a fun announcement for us uh, regarding something that he's been working on with uh, uh google So uh, Pankaj sir Dipesh thank you so much for joining us we will uh, thank Thanks, you guys thank you so much thank Pankaj sir thank you so much Achachan for having me thank you thank you bye 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 hello pratik hey achachan what's up can you hear me meri awaaz aa rahi hai aapko yes yes aa rahi hai bahut zordar se aa rahe hai is taraf bataiye sir what is this exciting project that you're working on with google so uh, as a lot of our viewers uh, might already know a lot of our readers viewers might already know uh, we are associated with uh, google for uh, the be internet awesome uh, initiative right so the be internet awesome initiative is this worldwide initiative where we are uh, where google is looking at internet safety for children and it's all about uh, educating everyone on how to be safe online right and so on this day of uh, safer internet right on safer internet day uh, we have a really really exciting announcement that the b internet program is going to be coming a b internet awesome program is going to be coming to a school to your school right very very soon right so we are starting a school initiative uh, with google so tinkle and google are coming together uh, for conducting a school program based on these uh five pillars of internet safety that uh that google has as part of the be internet awesome program it's a six session program right that's uh, going to be uh, happening very very soon so uh schools if you are interested please reach out to us on uh workshops at the rate ack-media.com i'm going to put it uh, on to the banner as well right so you can write to us on that if you are interested in being a part of the first phase they're going to be rolling this out in multiple phases across the year so if you're interested in being part of the first phase do write to us but we are really really excited to bring this content uh, to the school as well to schools as well that is really really exciting stuff uh, i mean we always enjoy going to schools and now we have this amazing program to put out there i'm very yes. excited to see how it like uh, unfolds and how uh, kids take to it and uh, how we all become internet awesome in the in the long run yeah absolutely and it's for grades 1 to 7 right i thought mentioned that earlier it's for grades 1 to 7 uh, and we are we are really excited to be coming to your school right so nice yeah. stuff that's our thank you so much pratik <laughs> we are really, really really looking forward to this starting up very very soon uh and thank you pratik <laughs> we shall see you next yeah. time hopefully thank you so much yeah. and if you all if you want your school to get involved in it if you are a teacher if you are a parent if you are a student you can write to us on workshops right at uh, workshops at ack media ack-media.com right so i'm going to put that into uh, the streamer so that you all can see it 
and there it is workshops at ackmedia.com you can write to us and we will get back to you asap perfect okay. that's amazing uh, all right all right thank you pratik see you around bye bye all right bye bye All right. So with that, we come to an end of this uh, very special Safer Internet Day uh, panel discussion that we had. And once again, like to thank uh, our guest, Dr. Pank, uh, Mr. Pankaj Bafna, Senior Advocate, and Mr. Dipesh Kotari, Head of Digital at ECK, uh, for taking the time to come and talk to us. I'd like to thank Pratik for uh, taking the time to come and make this announcement to us. Uh, if we have nothing else, uh, I think uh, we're ready to go, right? Hey, no. Hold up, Pratik. Hold up. Hold up. Don't go yet. You're forgetting What? something, something big, What? something What? huge, something phenomenal, something magnificent. Okay, okay, guys, I get the point. What What is it that I'm forgetting? Tell me. You forgot to announce the launch of our, our second, second B internet, internet awesome, awesome adventure. adventure. Oh yeah, I did. I did, didn't I? You're right. I, you know, I, I, that, but I did. I honestly, I honestly feel given that the both of you are involved, it can't be that much of an adventure, no? Agent Capture, he's making fun of us, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Agent Checkbox. He is making fun of us. Okay, I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. I did go through your latest adventure, and it is an absolutely fun ride that you guys had. You guys cross paths with like a full-on like dreaded scamster, and it was very very thrilling stuff. All of it. That's the reason why we are called. I mean, the daring detectives, Achachin. <laughs> okay, daring detectives, but that's not all. I also heard that you guys had uh, an animated adventure drop. Yes, Achachin. Our friends can now see for themselves how we understood. the importance of securing our secrets and became internet awesome you know awesome like we are you guys are quite internet awesome that is true i mean at least you're getting there with sam's help you guys never mentioned sam though i've noticed oh, she she's not in this yet she's not internet awesome not awesome nothing please that chance you know All right, no. So, uh, if you guys want to like read the comic, please do head to Tinkle Dot In. That's where you can read the comic. But uh, this animated adventure that we were talking about, I do have a short clip from it. Do you guys want to like showcase this clip right now? What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sure. Yes. Sounds good. All right then. So, without further ado, here is a clip from the first animated adventure of the Defective Detectives in their B Eight Not Awesome series. Why are we going to the garden? We aren't. We just needed to get away from them. Something's fishy. You're right. She was acting suspicious. They are hiding something on that laptop. Exactly. And we need to find out what. You think it's a giant bunker for criminals? Or maybe a military base where they are hiding aliens? Whatever it is, it's a mystery. You know what that means. A case that only we can solve. Are you ready, Agent Hidden Dragon? We were born ready, Agent Crouching Tiger. That is so cool, guys! Oh my God, you guys look so amazing with your signature pose and everything. You guys must have had like a really fun time shooting this, huh? Yeah, it was an excellent time. But uh, you guys sound a little bit different, though. What to do, Achachin? We couldn't go for the dubbing session as we had online school at that time. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like you know, it's always these production houses. I tell you, nothing you can do. In any case, both the video and the new book, the new adventure. That's the third adventure. Is available on the Tinkle website. Uh, you can also read the book on uh, the Tinkle app, the ACK app. or you can check out the video itself by itself on our youtube channel so it's everywhere wherever you want it to be uh and apart from this we also have uh, now hindi translations of our first two books so if you go to yep this is yeah this is cool right it's very cool you can read the hindi versions of both the books on our apps also or you can go to the tinkle website and read the hindi versions there And we have more translations coming in more regional languages, 
as we want to make sure everybody across the country gets to know how to be internet awesome irrespective of their language irrespective of their age irrespective of their gender uh, so what do you say guys should we go and check out like uh, all this amazing content that we're putting out right now yeah sounds like a plan achatin what say agent checkbox i agree agent captcha let's go nice all right then thank you so much everyone for joining in and uh, listening to us uh, as we conducted the safer internet uh, day uh, so panel discussion with these launches and what not uh, there's so many things to take away from this session from uh, senior advocate uh, pankaj bafna and dipesh uh, so be a good example to both your elders and your younger ones uh, be internet awesome everyone and i will see you next time yeah See you guys. Bye-bye.